Autonomous robots are cool, but don't you think remote control robots are the best? In this video, I reveal three cool ways to remote control your LEGO robots. Imagine the thrill of live action gaming with your LEGO Boost robots. Let's start already. Think about robotic rovers we sent to Mars. Indeed, those robots feature a high level of autonomy, but they are still remote control from Earth. While their journey spans millions of miles, our mission today covers much shorter distances. But the essence of control remains the same, directing a robot to perform tasks. Let's start with something concrete. Just like the engineers on Earth who guide those rovers, you will create your own control method. Let's engage in some interactive play with your robot, which uses color detection to respond to your commands. With a sensor pointed upwards, like this, this robot will read colors as you show it and react accordingly. So let's build the control stick. So let's make the program. Tap on the window to enter the creative canvas. Click on plus to create a new project. If you want to rename it, you can go back, tap the wrench icon, rename it to color control. We can leave two stacked bricks for the complexity level of the palettes. And now enter the project again. In the pseudocode we have when you see red, we will use the trigger on color blocks here in the orange palette. We drag one. They are like star blocks that execute the sequence attached to them when the color sensor sees the color you specify in the input. Now let's attach the drive base move steering for duration blocks here from the green palette. You attach it here. Set the speed to forward. Remember it's negative because the way the robot is built. Now we can copy this sequence and edit the parameters to make the robot move in a different way according to the colors. So we can copy this one, one, two, three times, and then change the parameters. When it sees yellow, we want to go backwards. When it sees blue, we want to go slower, spinning to the right for half a second, and when we see green, we want to spin left by half a second. And let's try it. Well, to be honest, working a stick onto your robot's head isn't exactly the pinnacle of innovation and not a proper remote controller, even if you make the stick very, very long. It was a fun way to explore new control blocks in action. If you're curious to dive deeper into LEGO Boost programming, I've got a book you might enjoy. Check out the link in the description. All right, we have our fun with sticks, but let's take a leap into something more fascinating. Imagine controlling your robot with just a wave of your hand or a tilt of your phone. Sounds exciting, right? Let me introduce you to the next method. Let's create a new program, rename it to Tilt Control and use two stacked bricks for the complexity level of the palettes. Enter the program to edit it. To read the tilt of our device, we will use these blocks in the orange palette. The device tilt X reporter and the device tilt Y reporter. We take a start block. Inside of forever loop, we use the output of those blocks as inputs for the speed and steering of the drive base move steering block. Next, I will add a wait for time block here to avoid overwhelming the hub with too frequent command updates. So let's pause for a tenth of a second. Let's plug these here for the speed and here for the steering. Now, if you have a wheel robot with the hub oriented in its default position with the studs up, this program will be enough. But our robot has the hub with the bottom facing forward and we are still playing the game of opposite, remember, like in the previous videos. So forward is backward and left is right. So in our case, to invert the speed 
and steering control, we must invert the sign of the tilt readings we get from these reported blocks. Positive numbers must become negative. To do so, we will use the division operator, which is in the white palette, the division, this one. We could also use a multiply operator block to get the same result of inverting the tilt readings, but the division will serve us better later. So let's get rid of this one and duplicate this one. So we plug these reported blocks here and we divide by minus one. So this one for the speed and this one for the steering. The robot stays still when the device is slightly tilted towards you in a comfortable reading position. To drive forward, tilt the device away from you. To drive backward, tilt the device towards you. Tilt the device right or left to steer. So let's try it. Wow, the robot is way too fast. Let's scale down the speed a bit. To make the robot drive slower, let's divide the tilt reading for the speed in half with a minus to keep inverting it. Now you know why I use the division operators in the first place, because I want to divide the speed by two. Let's try again. So, towards me, backwards, forward, stop, right, left. Ah, much better. But what do you think? I find this way of controlling the robot quite uncomfortable. It's like trying to steer a ship with a spoon. It's frustrating and imprecise. But there's another way to control a robot. Imagine being able to precisely maneuver your robot with just a touch, without having to tilt your device. But how do you do this step up? Let me show you how easy it is to start using the remote control interface with widgets on your screen. The LEGO Boost app has special programming blocks that allow you to program a remote control interface using these widgets. So go to the orange palette and we find a button, a slider and a joystick. For our robot, let's add the joystick to move around. The joystick gives you two readings. So let's add a start block. A joystick widget show display the joystick for the interface. When we start the program, it will show up. So you can see the numbers as I move the joystick upward, up and down, and left and right. So as before, we place all our blocks inside the forever loop. We take a drive base move block, this one. And as before, we have to divide the speed by minus two to invert it and to scale it down by half and another one for the steering to swap left and right. We place a wait for time block here, not to overwhelm the hub with two frequent commands, and a pause of a tenth of a second is enough as before. Try it out and feel the difference. Okay, much better. Now that we've got our robot cruising at a comfortable pace, it's time to make things more spicy. Let's transform our robot into a dart shooter, ready to take on any target. We're getting closer to the live action gaming that I promised at the beginning of this video. This is where the real fun begins. The LEGO Boost Creative Toolbox includes this shooter element. Its internal spring is soft and safe, but please don't aim at this. See, I told you. To activate this very sensitive trigger, we'll use the external motor like this. Okay? <laughs> Let's build it. Now, our robot has a shooter backpack. Let's move on to programming it. Let's add the blocks that will allow us to control the robot to shoot. Let's begin by adding the show button widget here at the beginning of the program. As you can see here, there is an X here, but when I press the button, it becomes a check mark. Can you see it? We will use that later. Next, let's add a motor block at the beginning to calibrate the shooting motor. So we had to here, and here we add this block here, minus 20 for one second. Next, we add a switch block here that lets your robot decide what to do based on the answer yes or no to a question. So we use the button widget reporter here to read the status of the button as I showed you before. This read will return true when the button is pressed. So if the button is pressed, we will execute some blocks in the top sequence here, the one with the check mark. And here we want to shoot. To make the robot shoot, we take two other 
motor blocks. We we'll set it to 100 for 0 0.3 seconds to shoot, to, to rotate the motor towards the trigger. And next, we want the motor to go back for one second, to go back to the starting position. And now that the program is ready, let's see it in action. Next one. Come on. Uh -huh. Yeah! Ta -da! So you've mastered coding and controlling your Lego Boost robot with a virtual remote controller. But what if I told you there is a way to control your robot using a Lego physical remote without dropping a single block of code? Intrigued? Follow me. Here's the Lego remote 88010. You might recognize it from the Lego powered up Lego trains. And if you want, you can snag one as a spare part from Lego for about $20. I grabbed mine from Amazon and there is a handy link below in this video if you want to check it out. So here's the magic. This remote can connect directly to your Lego Boost hub. No app needed as a middleman. Here's how to do it. First you turn on your remote and then you turn on your hub. Next, while it's blinking white, you press the button on the hub again and wait a moment and voila, they are connected. Now you are ready to control your Boost robot with just a remote. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, why is that remote? Ah, since the hub is reversed on this robot, you should turn the controller upside down. Remember, front is back and left is right. <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> now you can control your robot to drive around like you were controlling a tank or an excavator. You press up on both sides to go forward. You press up on a side to pivot on a wheel and you press opposite buttons on both sides to spin in place. Short presses let you aim better. But how about shooting? Well, just press the green button on the remote to switch to controlling port C and D. The light on the headset will blink shortly to tell you that it switched motors. In this case, you can only run the shooting motor, as on the other part we have the sensor and it can spin or anything. So let's try again. We reload the robot, drag around. Let's move a little backwards. Oh, hi. Switch and then ping. let's celebrate. You celebrated a little too much, my friend. But unfortunately, there is a drawback of using this remote control directly. We have no control on the speed of the wheels. It's just on and off at full speed. But what if I told you that you can use this Lego handset to remote control a Lego Boost robot with extreme precision, being able to drive the robot at various speeds and activate complex functions? Well, to learn how to do that, watch this next.